Right, now we have to be out of here in really 25 minutes, 35 minutes. Uh, if we're not out, they'll throw us out. So, we now come to the members of the steering committee. There are 14. We did vote for seven, but I think all 14 have stood up. They're all highly professional. They all have a passion for dogs. And I think to, to break that number up would be, I think, silly for the long term future of this association alliance called what we will. Um, and I would like to put it to you that we vote for, for those 14 people on block. Can I have a proposer? Well, I'll propose it, sorry. Can I have a seconder? So, can, we've now got a proposer and seconder. Can I have a show of hands? Those in favor? Thank you. Those against? One, two. Abstentions, please. Two, three, four, five. That's been carried. Thank you very much. Um, looking down the list of the 14 members of the steering committee um, of the Canine Alliance, strapline responsible for pedigree dogs, <laughs> um, it's clear that there are several Kennel Club members amongst them. Um, the point has been made to me that we have the time frame for any of those Kennel Club members to put forward the proposals that we've approved tonight as an item for the Kennel Club Annual General Meeting, which the Chairman is now going to ask you whether or not you think this is a good idea. Right, you heard what Andrew says. Do you think we ought to put a proposal forward? Right, can I have a proposer? Mr. Wilberg, and a seconder? Steve Hall. All those in favor, please. All those against? Zero. Abstentions? Zero. Thank you very much indeed. All, all I was saying, Mr. Chairman, is as a Kennel Club member and with the AGM coming up, it would be really, as you've said, it's the Kennel Club members that need to propose that. So are all the Kennel Club members present happy that it goes forward as a proposal? Because we're the ones that are going to have to propose it. Right. Those Kennel Club members present, are they happy that it's been put forward? Those against? Martin, could I also say that I think uh, it's the response. Uh, uh, I, I, well, I don't think I need one. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Um, I, I think it's very important that the 63 Kennel Club members present this evening uh, owe it to this newly formed um, society to attend the yeah. annual general meeting at the Kennel Club. <laughs> Absolutely essential. Thank you. Right, I know that, sir. Uh, Anthea Everett, I just wonder what the implications would be of the Kennel Club refusing the proposal. I don't think they can. It has to be discussed. It has to be discussed. There's a gentleman there I'd like to... Uh... Yeah, I'm uh, Malcolm Preston and I've got Bulldogs and Miniature Bull Terriers. Um, I was at the last Kennel Club AGM when Mike Gasbell, I don't know where, he is, where he's gone now, but Mo um, Michael put a, very eloquently the, the argument for coke testing and, and um, chalk being abolished. Uh, although it wasn't abolished at the meeting, it was stopped. Uh, it, was, it was 
it was suspended until such time as the chemical and everybody else decided what they were going to do about it. I would like to suggest that Mike um, puts off our case forward again at this, this AGM. He did it very well last year. I think, I think that's a very good idea. I think if the ground swell of members is strong enough, they can't club have to sit up and listen. There's no two ways of Andrew. Andrew. Um, much as many of my Green Badge friends assured me how brilliant Mr. Gadsby was on the day, um, I think, we, we, I, and I take everything that Malcolm has said, um, and I'm sure Mike would be, be happy to do it. Let's make sure that we don't make Mike some sort of whipping boy. When you've got the likes of Mr. Harlow involved with the committee, this is something for the steering committee, I think, to discuss quite seriously. Right, there's one gentleman, gentleman over here, first of all, please. Then we'll take any two more questions. I think then we need to wind down the meeting. I'm a lady. lady <laughs> the lady over there, thank you very much. Sorry about that. My eyesight isn't that bad yet. Um, just before the Kennel Club members, do make a final commitment. If I could just remind you that the Kennel Club have kindly scheduled their AGM to clash with the World Show and the Scottish Championship Show. Some of them may have judging commitments. I think I'm right. Well, okay. I'm, I'm sure the majority can be there. Hello, I'm just going to, just going to say that I have no objections in the fact that I voted for the, the, the motion that's just gone forward. My fear is a one-shot salvo can get swatted aside. I would like the other Kennel Club members to think about putting forward personal motions so that there's a number that the Kennel Club will have to discuss at some point during the day and not just miss the target first time round. Okay, well we can do that again through the steering committee. I think that is a good suggestion. Thank you. May I just say something else? Um, not <laughs> Not only about proposing items for the agenda at the Kennel Club, but give serious thoughts to these excellent dog people in this room this evening that would make excellent general committee members. There is not a divine right that the existing um, Kennel Club general committee make recommendations that go through on the nod. It is the membership that elects the committee. So if you think there are people worthy of the general committee, and I can think of one or two that certainly wouldn't sit and nod their heads. We want people that will stand up for dogs and uh, by all means propose them. And I will be happy to pr uh, propose one or two sensible, logical thinking candidates and uh, uh, Possibly even act as their um, uh, campaign manager. <laughs> Thank you. Can I just say, uh, just can I ask a question? Um, I was appalled last year that um, the AGM, I think, had been strategically placed um, the day before uh, the first day of SKC, a representative show. So. Um, there was going to be obviously a lot of people uh, not there, terrier people specifically, who were very much involved with this coat testing thing. Is there any way that we can ask the Kennel Club to change that? Is it possible at this late stage? Does anybody know? <laughs> yeah, we need to probably propose it for another year. Thanks. Uh, Simon Parsons. Uh, there are. I believe the maximum Kennel Club membership is 1,500. I think at the moment there's 1,100. So there are three or 400 places going, going begging, as it were. If, if there are people here who feel they should be Kennel Club members, can't they find somebody to uh, propose them? And then the, there would be a, a greater degree of democracy in the dog world. Thank you. I was going to suggest that the option open to it is a special AGM. How many members, I don't know the constitution in the Kennel Club, I'm not a member. How many do you need to call them? 
Well, have you not got 60? Why not do that? And surely that would be a wake-up call to the I, th I, th I think, yes, it certainly would be. I think that we just need to take it one step at a time and I wouldn't say be politically correct, but I think we need to put this forward for the next AGM. I do think that we need to demand, if for want of a better word, but demand a meeting with the Kennel Club. And, 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 and it, but it's, it's got to be, we can't do it all overnight, and I think it's got to be done without too many ill feelings. Well, I do. <laughs> I think the ill feelings. I know there are a lot in this room, but you know. <laughs> I'd, I'd just like to ask what the time scale is of all this. Are we waiting until after this meet the AGM of the Kennel Club? How long are we giving the standing committee? I don't want this group, this meeting tonight, to lose momentum. And nothing's worse than when are we going to have the next meeting? And it drifts away. I've seen it. I've seen it in my own breed. I wouldn't like to, to, to this to happen. I think we need to set some time scales, some lines, and when we all want to come back and meet again or ask you to report back with some sort of... Idea. Um, we've all applause for Judy. Um, two points. Firstly, um, we've already agreed that the 14 members of the steering committee <coughs> will leave this room and have a, a meeting outside to discuss the next move, as it were. Um, what, what is of slight concern, and, and I take on board what um, the chairman has said about doing it in what would be perceived to be the correct way, um, which is um, getting these items put on the Kennel Club AGM. The problem that we have, and where I feel we're going to lose impact if we do it that way, is the AGM, as I understand it, is after the next general championship show where these veterinary examinations are going to take place, which would be Welks, I believe? Yeah? Okay, so Welks is... Working in partial breeds of Wales, that's, that's, a, that's April. Okay, you... And when is the UK toy dog? 31st of March. Okay, you can... Okay. Um, what, what is the, you're the expert on this, what are the requirements to call a special general meeting and how much notice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the time scale. So effectively it's impossible to get a special general meeting called prior to the first veterinary exam which is going to take place at the UK Toy Dog which would affect Pekingese and Pugs and, and China, that is such a laugh, Chinese crested. Um, not the breed, the fact that they're on the list. Sigurd? Well, I, I want to say that it's only what we can speak about democracy as long as you want that it's only one thing the Kennel Club understands and that's power. So, if you want to do something quick, we're going to get Howard working and get some legal action against them. That's the, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, but that's the only thing that I can understand. And it, what, he can, what, what sort of action he can take, I, I don't know, but that's, if you want, if you want quick action, get the lawyers involved. Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, sorry. I don't want to sound like gloom and doom. I, I really don't think, in, in my opinion, that the way to, to tackle this, this stage is to threaten SGMs and things like that. Because all that's going to happen is we're becoming adversaries. Yeah. And at this stage, we don't have the strength to be an adversary, to be perfectly honest. When you've got six or seven or eight thousand members all signed up to this group, then you're in a position of strength where you can go forward with a voice. 
At this stage, we've got a steering committee of very eminent people in this room that could put together a process to go forward to the Kennel Club with a sensible, logical argument. But if we start going down the road of even talking about special general meetings, a war will come up, which we've then got to go over the top of or through. And I really don't think that's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's very wise that we've got Mr. Harlow on board. He can <laughs> calm some of us down. Can I ask... Can I ask Mr. Harlow a, a direct question? Um, is there anything to prevent, when we have the meeting of the 14 of us outside, us forwarding to the Kennel Club chairman a communication which, which tells him that this meeting has taken place, that this body has been formed, that the meeting consisted of so many people, which included so many Kennel Club members, so many assured breeders, and the, um, the, the desire, we can discuss the wording afterwards, of the meeting was, and obviously the immediate suspension of the breed-specific veterinary examinations was, was a priority in that. And this meeting would appreciate it if the Kennel Club would give this their immediate attention? Is that feasible? I think the simple answer is yes, of course it is. I think depending on how we approach it as a steering group on behalf of everyone here and throughout the country will depend how it is received. And if we play it in the correct way, I think you could be listened to. Well, sorry, you. We could be listened to. But if we play it in an incorrect way, we are then going to have a much bigger battle on our hands. I'm not saying it's not a battle that we couldn't win, but we could actually make huge inroads into a whole process that, to be honest, is not satisfactory. Correct. Thank you. And now, look, we really need to wind down because we have to be out of here in 20 minutes and we want to have a small meeting of the, uh, those we voted on earlier on. So I'm going to take one question from this gentleman here and then we'll wind the meeting down. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm writing to the Kennel Club tomorrow and I'm resigning as a sh assured that, um, what on earth is it called? <laughs> assured breeder. Um, that's my small way of showing them that I don't agree with what they've done. Thank you very much. Right, ladies and gentlemen, I know some of you have got a long way to go. Um, thank you very much for attending.